Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar, and today we have a, another DC Multiverse figure review on. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Lobo figure. So yeah, now we got another DC Multiverse figure, and um, I found him at Target today, and I was super, super hyped. I thought he was already released, but I saw the guy restocking. But yeah, um, you can see, basic, um, this is the normal DC multiverse packaging as you get with other smaller figures and um, I am pumped um, DC multiverse logo down there and we already had a look at the DC multiverse Titan Joker so if you guys haven't please uh, check that video out but uh, yeah ages 12 and up side of the package Lobo DC rebirth I think that's yeah it's rebirth I didn't know it was rebirth but yeah, DC Rebirth, DC Multiverse on the top, on the back, you see an awesome artwork picture, photo of Lobo. And down there you see the other figures right there, are exclusive, which, um, yeah, and obviously made by McFarlane Toys right up there. And of course every figure comes with their each collectible figure card. Side of the package, Lobo, again. DC Multiverse, oops, 22 points of articulation, oops, god dang it, um, top, there's nothing on the bottom, stuff, stuff, so let's go ahead and get this guy opened up, shall we, um, now when I first felt, oh, let me just clear the lens here, now, when I first, uh, heard that this guy was being announced, um, I was actually really hyped because Lobo is actually one of my favorite DC villains and uh, but one of the coolest I bet it's everyone's favorite uh, when he appeared and it was really awesome and I'll get into more detail about Lobo later on but um, I'll talk about some of the things that he might be missing or oh shoot there's more tape up there what so yeah, like I said, I'll be talking about the stuff that he's missing, and just that brilliant. And, uh, people just, you know, people just go up to the road, and you, and you just, you know, people just don't buy DC Multiverse figures anymore, um, other than the fact that they think... I just need to reach in here and grab this stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got his figure card out right here. It's basically the same picture from the back of the package. And on the back, there's a read-up. Um, if you guys want to read it, let me just zoom in here so you guys can see. Read-up. Yeah. Uh, just pause it if you guys want to. And next, he comes with the DC Multiverse figure stand. Um, don't know, I guess he didn't even stand. And let's go ahead and get this guy out of his package. First, let's just get some of this out here. And here we have Lobo's um, chain weapon. And it's very like bendy, so it will be easy to put in his hand. It's not hard plastic, which is a good thing. Now we free the main man or the bounty hunter off his cage. Okay, this is gonna be a hard again. McFarlane just likes to pack their figures in tight packages, do they? Okay, this can be hard, so I'll be right back. And here we have the bounty hunter Lobo out of his packaging. And first and foremost, let me just get everything situated. Uh, again, we have to show the chain, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure. 
Um, I'd say this is a very good representation of Lobo. Um, surely uh, Lobo looks very different. Um, let me just camera. In terms of the designs of the comics that Lobo looks, um, he actually does look very menacing. Um, to the point that, to be honest, he kind of, if you turn to the side, he kind of looks like Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. <laughs> but, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a closer look at the head. I don't know why they made his face incredibly white, like the Joker. Although his the rest of the, the rest of his body is gray, but I don't know why they made his face white. Which I think that has to do with some of the plastic. And you can see his hair has blue streaks. Has that beard, the eyes, red eyes. And you know that grin smile, I think. And you look at the vest. The black vest that he has on his, uh, on him. And then you can see the, the gray undershirt, which has holes and everything. And you can see as a, the hands, which have the fingerless gloves, which have the, the knuckles, the rubber coating knuckles there, which I think is very nice. And they also added the spikes on the top of the shoulders, which are very freaking pointy. So if you're ever to grab them, just don't grab them there. And you can see on the bottom here we have the Lobo feet or toes, the boots, and you can see the metal bearings right here and the skulls pants and the symbol logo right here on his belt and we turn him on the back we can see the they added the bite me fanboy thing with the skull and the wings kind of looks like it's all tattered um everything else in the back there's more bearings on the back but they're not they aren't painted which is kind of a bummer but otherwise, he is a very good-looking figure, and I really do, um, I really do adore this uh, this mold. Although I wish he added more, but I do really adore him. Now, one thing is that Lobo does have a gun. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he does have a some type of double barrel shotgun, and uh, for some reason, McFarlane didn't really give him that. I guess he just gave him. The classic chain weapon, I think. And he also has a motorcycle. And he has a dog. So yeah, Blobo has a bunch of things. But boy, oh boy. He's just very... This is a cool character. And let me see if I can attempt to put the chain in his hand. So I'm just going to first... We're just going to put this here. And um, we'll try to... Uh, try to put it in his hand the best I can. Let me see if I can straighten out his uh, thing here. Oh, wait, wait. Before we do that, let's go ahead and go over to the articulation just before we do this. So the articulation, Lobo has a ball-jointed head, so it can look side to side. It can also not look down, just a little bit. Uh, he can always look straight. Um, he has waist articulation like this on the on the, on the the bicep, I think. And uh, he doesn't, he has waist articulation, I think, what kind of stiff. You can also, he has an ab crunch right here. Uh, not an ab crunch, but yeah. And then his arms can go out, I think. Yeah, they can go out. They can go, oh, Jesus. Oh, they're on double joints, so they're on like butterfly joints. So they can move like this. And then they can also move down. They can also swivel at the bicep. Right here, and then they can also bend at the elbow, uh, double joint, pretty tight joints. Um, there's a double joint right there, and his hand can go, can just swivel and can also go up. I think so, but otherwise, it's pretty cool and uh, just a pretty nice figure. And his um, his legs can go out, they can go forward like this, and this they, they made this rubbery so because of the legs, and they can also bend here. And here on the knees, they have a double joint there, and swivel at the feet, and uh, just a little thing on the boot there, you know. Which is, uh, yeah, you can do, you yeah, you can get this guy in a lot of cool poses, um, but uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice that he has all that movement. Now, since we did that, let's go ahead and put this thing in his hand or around his arm. 
they should not break um because it's just on a rubbery uh substance and they just push this in push 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 this in all this 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 and uh it's just kind of trying to get it into his hand and uh now we now we can make him grab this. If I can make him grab his chain, come on, just grab it. Nope. Yeah, I think he can. I, I he can grab it. It's just I don't know. Um, we just have to do it like this. Um, but yeah, um, there we go. We got the thing in his hand, and very nice. Uh, yeah. That looks, that looks actually, that looks actually not bad. That looks very cool with this chain around his wrist. Lobo is just badass, in my opinion. One of the badass characters. Also one of the coolest Superman villains out there. I hope, I hope they make more Lobo um, figures, McFarlane. Um, so, just so you can have that crazy punk rock hair. Not the mohawk, but. He can have that spiky here with the cigar with the cigar in his mouth. That would be gnarly. And he, I, and I hope he comes with a shotgun too, which could be very nice. But uh, yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh. I think that's it for Lobo. So um. Yeah. I definitely do recommend this figure. And please pick him up if you guys have the chance. So yeah. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. So you guys don't miss a new video every time it comes out. Share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. And please share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.